Hi guys, my name is Senesu, you can call me the Black Panther and today we are doing a quick case study here to which I want you guys to be the judge to this case or to this story. This guy here has been ordered to pay a sum of 650000 in cash and also 20000 monthly allowance to his ex-girlfriend after quitting a four years relationship with her. Chinaza. You are suing Sugar Mensa for the sum of 650,000 Naira. So now let's watch this video. And after that, I'll be expecting your judgment in the comment section below. Can you tell me how you met him? I met Sugar four years ago. He said he's interested in me, that he likes me, that he wants me to be his girlfriend. That if I accept, that he promised to treat me like a queen. Since we are going okay between both of us, because he was working and I had a shop where I sell provisions. So two years ago, he lost his job. Two months, three months before he lost his job, I noticed that he changed. He don't take his life serious and he started keeping bad friends. That's when he started borrowing money from me. He said, please, sweetheart, I need 50,000. And I promised to pay it back. When he asks for the money, does he tell you what he wants to use the money for? Yes, he said he, wa he wants to start up something. What's the something? Business. What kind of business do you find out? Do you ask him for details? He said he will pay me back. I understand. You said you were dating. So you are beyond ordinary friends. Even if you are just ordinary friends, if you have a friend walk up to you and say she wants to borrow money from you, you ask her what she wants to use the money for. And she say business. You ask what kind of business do you want to go into. But go ahead. Do you understand me? Yes. Go ahead. So, I will give him the money. Sometimes he, he, will, he will get drunk, like he will drink. He will come back. Any little mistake, he will be beating me. Most especially in the night, when you come back, I'll be feeling tired. He say you want to do. If I say no, that I'm not in the mood, you started beating me. Last year, October 6th, during my birthday, I went to his house before my birthday because I want to surprise him. I want to spend my birthday with him. When I got there, I found out that there is another woman in his house. I was like expecting him to apologized to me and tell me that he's his friend or something like that. He started telling me that why did I come to his house without letting him know. He started beating me. And by then I was like two months pregnant. For him? Yes. What my eyes see that day, I did not expect it. He was beating me mercilessly to the extent that this is my eye. Like if I close this, I cannot I cannot use this one and I read what is written here. Okay. That's the picture you submitted. Yes. A picture of the injury to the eye. Yes. Okay. Right. So as time goes on, I, if I broke up with him, he will come back begging me, say that he don't want to spend his life with another woman except me. And I will keep forgiving because I was deeply in love with him. I went to the hospital. They said that I need to uh, go, like I need to do operation. And by then- When I, was this? Last year. I said I don't have money. For, I don't have that kind of money. For How much? 300 to 80. So if they, there is any other option, they say yes, they can give me injection and drugs. So that's what I've been taking. And what's the cost of the injection and drugs? And how often do you purchase it? Like 20K. Every month. Are you aware of that? That she's on drugs and medication every month because of the injury? She told me. You're aware? Yes. Have you supported her along the line to buy the drugs? Lord, I tried supporting, but uh, things have not been going well with me. 
since I lost my job, I had, I've had so many frustrations and so many back. Don't worry, Everything. just a minute, let her run up. Go ahead. So all in all, how much have you given to him? He's, he's because in your claim, you wrote above 650,000 Naira. Yes, he's more than 650,000. But I don't know, you have to tell me how much exactly. That's why I'm falling on the figure I have in your claim. That money I give him was for my shop. And that's the last money I have to pay my shop and to stock things. And I told him, oh, he said that he's going to give me before my shop expire. I said, okay, no problem that I believe in you. Since then, he stopped picking my calls. Even if I go to his house, I will not see him. If I call him with another number, he will pick. Once he hears my voice, he will cut the call. And I could not even afford to pay my rent. I'm staying with someone now. That's why I want him to pay me my money, all my money, so I can start off with something, so I can start my life afresh. Sugar, what do you have to say to all this? It's not that I don't love her. I love her so much, but the problem is, uh, since I lost my job, things have not been going well with me. Why I've not been seeing her is because I'm as even ashamed, because I, do have, I, I even boasted about it that I have to pay her the money so that things will go well. But I feel ashamed even seeing her picking her calls because I know I've done so many things I'm not supposed to do. The money you collected from her, what did you use it for? Okay, I have a friend that wanted to connect me to this, um, the, the, the clothes, shoes, and stuff they sell for the big from China. But sometimes um, I don't know what happens. I try to want to buy some things. He said, okay, send this money, send this out. I, sometimes I even send money, that's the problem. But all of a sudden, one day he told me that, uh, don't worry, that the things are coming, the things are coming. And I'm like, what's happening? Until uh, I didn't, I lost, lost contact with him because I tried his phone, it doesn't go in. At the end of the day, I said, okay, maybe this guy ran away with my money. So why I kept on borrowing was that I was thinking, maybe if I try something else, it will work. But anytime I collect the money, there are so many things around me I try to sort out. People I borrowed money. Like what? Like people I borrowed money from. They always come on my neck, always try to harass me. Some people want to even take me to the police. Why you borrow the money from them? What do you use it for? Sometimes I use it for okay. Sometimes I use it to go to look for jobs. Sometimes, okay, I know I mess around. Maybe sometimes I use it to drink or so. That's what just happened. You are not married. You were just dating. So nothing stops you from asking to get a guarantor for you. Nothing stops you from asking for full details of what he intends to use the money for, especially when you see him coming home drunk. The defendant is to pay the plaintiff the sum of 650,000 Naira that is owing her, and at the same time, to be expending 20,000 Naira to her on a monthly basis for the drugs, for the drugs she purchases for the injury inflicted on her by the defendant. Let's read some of the comments that came up against this guy. The first comment says, Some men don't really know what they want. They take advantage of good women that comes their ways. Later, they end up with the bad ones and claim that all women are bad. Hmm. Wow. Just remembered what I went through in the hands of my ex-husband. But mine was I decided to leave the loser and forge ahead and thank God I'm still standing strong. This is what we call soft but mighty. The judgment is fair enough, but she should have added the beatings fee as well. This is how so many guys lost their wives and ended up married wrong person. I'm seeing this as a reason why we have single mothers everywhere. When you see young ladies who are ready to settle down with you, some of these guys will come up to say they are not ready for marriage. They will start behaving abnormal. The judge not try you. The man didn't bag a jail term of rape and assault. He should have been made to pay for her surgery and everything included. These are some of the comments that came from people after watching this video. Before you leave your comments in the comment section below, let me know what came in mind. As I told you, this guy, Sugar,
has been ordered to pay a sum of 650,000 in cash and also 20,000 monthly allowance to his ex-girlfriend. What came in mind after watching this video? And back to my question, do you think the judge is too harsh on the guy or the guy deserves more than what the judge ordered? Can you leave your comments in the comment section below? Like this video and also share to a friend, family and loved one to see his or her judgment on this particular video. My name is Enes, you can call me the Black Panther and if you are not part of the family, yes, please do well and subscribe to this channel, Kofi TV. And if you are watching me on Kofi Radio, you can subscribe to this channel, Kofi Radio. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.